Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I uh, I don't really do much social media uh, anymore. Um, I used to be do YouTube, um, um, Twitch, <clears throat> all that shit. Um, don't really do that anymore, uh, mainly because of real life stuff, having a career, um, getting married, uh, actually in a couple of weeks right now, uh, at, at the time that this, this video has been made. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot of stuff, um, myself. Now I have been watching plenty of streams, um, you know, even though I haven't been doing it myself, uh, over these past couple of years and, uh, Wreckful was one of the ones that I watched the most of. Um, I really enjoyed his content. <clears throat> I, I can remember back in the, uh, back in the days of hearing about him being the best rogue, um, and, and seeing him compete in some of the, uh, the arena championships that there were. And, um, and then when he started streaming, like that was really cool to like, see more of this dude playing this game, you know, not just for an arena. You can kind of like watch it whenever you, whenever, whenever you want or whenever he's live. Um, and it was really cool, and he really, like, revolutionized what live streaming is today. Uh, he did stay a World of Warcraft streamer, um, which is unfortunate, but, um, I think that, I think that he, uh, he did a really, really big thing for the industry by, like, introducing, like, mon mo different, different methods of monetization, such as, like, using donations, um, uh, trying to promote you know, supporting him directly rather than having to view ads. Like, you know, these are things that, that had like a huge ripple effect, um, throughout the industry and it's still there and it's even been, you know, iterated upon. And, uh, but I guess the way that he passed away was, uh, by suicide. Um, and I knew from an interview, I, I think it was a couple of years ago. I can't remember where it was and I can't remember if it was tea time with Byron or if it was something else, but he talked about how his brother committed suicide. Um, you know, he mentioned that that had happened, but he didn't really go into big deal, big detail on why that happens uh, or why that happened to him. And so his brother committed suicide. I think that he was very young when that happened too. So that had to have been an awful thing. And uh, during one of his streams with Dr. K, he even shared, um, he shared some of the, uh, uh, feelings that he had, um, about that. And I think some of the things that his dad said about it, his dad wrote a book, um, I can't remember what the hell the name of the book is, but it, it describes in great detail, uh, through this fictitious character that is based off of his father himself, um, detailing about how his son passed away and how helpless he felt and how that was like, like literally living in hell. Um, I can't imagine what that would be like. Um, you know, some of you guys who are very, very old, there's not even a lot of you, but, uh, some of you guys remember my, my father's passing. Um, I think that was the first step in me, like stopping streaming. Um, not saying that stopping streaming was good or bad. Uh, I definitely had things to focus on. Um, but I understand like how painful it is to, to lose a family member. Um, even though it's, it wasn't like a voluntary death, um, in my, in my experience that is, but like this family, man, um, the, the Bernstein family, holy fuck. Um, It's there. There's there's been so much uh, uh, anguish in their family from their death. Um, all these deaths that have gone on in their in their family is just unbelievable. Um, I cannot imagine what sort of pain they're in right now. I I hope and fucking pray, man, that, that their family will. Uh, make it through this, um, have a very strong support system. Um, I don't know. I, I think that this is, this is a very like important thing right now. Um, we've, there's, there's been a lot of like, 
uh, very high uh, numbers of people um, committing, committing suicide, uh, more so than ever. And I think that we have to be, we really have to be aware of this and we have to be aware of our friends and we have to be aware that like, um, what to do when we ourselves are feeling that way and what not to do. Um, I think the internet has a, has a, has a huge capability of being one of the, the best things to ever happen to humanity. Um, but it also is kind of a double edged sword. It's also the worst thing that's ever happened to humanity in many ways. Um, and I beg you, if you guys, if anybody who sees this video, again, probably not a whole lot, if you guys are feeling these feelings of wanting to end it all, please seek help. Um, please, please seek out your, your friends and be open about it. Um, be open about it with your family. Um, it, it's at that moment when those thoughts start creeping in that you become the most dangerous thing for yourself. Um, and I think that there's a lot of things that people should do, like seeking their support system, friends, family, things like that. Or um, maybe even staying off of social media. Um, I can't imagine that that was very good. Uh, that's very good for people. And, and maybe I don't, I don't want to, like, you know, be super assumptuous in saying that, like, social media has an effect on it. I think that he was pretty quiet on social media, actually. So I think that that might not have been the... Uh, that might not have been the uh, issue there, but um, I think that it's still safe to stay away from that, especially if you're a high profile type person and people have things to say just to say them. Um, but um, I, I, I do want people to be very cautious um, when they have thoughts like this and, and seek the help that they need to do and, and not do anything too drastic but one other thing that i wanted to do before i end this video is i wanted to um i wanted to just show you guys um what the community what the wow community uh has done um for byron uh this is gonna be a very raw video i just pulled up the nvidia thing because i just built this pc and i can't <laughs> alt z to show you guys the the full picture but like uh, we have Alliance and Horde in here, like, um, even a little bit of lag. Um, we have some people, there were more people over here on this side uh, earlier in the video who were kneeling, I think. Um, but people kneeling down, um, some people at the altar, you know, like, putting on, like, a, a funeral for, for him. Unfortunately, all of the cler <laughs> clergy members are dead. Um... I'm pretty sure, although this this person's still alive, he must she must have respawned. But there's a a few other like priest trainers that should be here that unfortunately the horde has come in to kill, which is fine. Um, it's not super disruptive, but I think that people are here to just uh, pay their respects to Byron. Um, one way that I wanted to do this is I wanted to make this video. Um, so please, guys, um, take your mental health seriously. Um, just be careful um, when it comes to thinking about what, what the right thing to do is and really bounce those ideas off of people. Uh, I think that that's really important. I think that we live in a culture where we assume that every, everything that we think is good for ourselves, and that's not, us, not all the way true. Uh, I know for me, my fiance knows what's better for me most of the time. Um, so I, I really beg you guys to please, um, please take it seriously. Please seek the help that you need. Um, and please, uh, just hug whoever's closest to you, um, uh, who, who's in your household. As of right now, this is during the whole coronavirus, so don't go hugging every motherfucker you see, but, like, those that you're locked up with, those that you are, uh, you know, quarantining with, um, are those who you, you know, see frequently and things have been okay. Give, just give them a hug. Let them know that you love them, um, it can really make a difference. It really can. Thanks for viewing this video. Um, I don't stream too much anymore. I, if I do, it's just to fuck around with my new PC. But um, I do. I do. If this video does like circle around uh, even a small community, I'm happy. Um, I'm happy that people can 
um, hear just another voice saying, please seek the help that you need. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.